Hi, I'm Dr. Dave Janda. Welcome back to the Operation Freedom Health ongoing series that has been here for you for the past almost three years. This is a series that Dr. Peter Glidden and I, one of the top naturopathic physicians in the world, and I present on a every other week basis. And the focus is on empowering you and empowering your own body to lead to a healthier life that focuses on wellness. Now, you might say, well, you know, I, I uh, so do those big pharmaceutical companies and big government and big medicine. And uh, OK, look, if the past two and a half years have not taught you something, it should have taught you that big pharma, big medicine like the AMA, big insurance, big government, the technocrats like Fauci are not at all interested in your well-being in your health, in your future, and in your life. And this is why the series that Peter and I have done over the past three years is so despised by all of those entities because we talk about what you can do to enhance your own health and wellness. But here, here's the, do you want to know the rate limiting step? Here's the rate limiting step. Uh, it's not that the products are not available. We make them available for you on OperationFreedomHealth.com. It's not because the information is not available, because Pete and I give you the information in our videos and on OperationFreedomHealth.com and DrGlidden.com and Peter's two books that he's authored, Attempt to Cure with Holistic Medicine is, and Everybody is Sick and I Know Why, which is available at DrGlidden.com and Amazon.com. The material and on OperationFreedomHealth.com, free. The material's all there for you. But here's a great limiting step. You have to implement and take action. You know, one of the most frustrating things, I practiced medicine for 32 years, orthopedic surgery. And someone would come in to see me for a shoulder problem. And I'd say, okay, here's your problem. Uh, let's discuss it. Okay. Do you, you, any questions about that? No, okay, fine. Uh, now, for this problem to get better, you need to do A, B, and C. Okay, and here is A, and here is B, and here is C. And I'm going to see you back in a month, and we're going to see where you are. Okay? Okay with the plan? Yeah, okay. Sometimes, someone will come back a month later and say, I'm not any better. Oh, okay. Well, tell me your symptoms, and we go through it. Did, okay, did you do A that we talked about? Mm, no. <laughs> did you do B? Mm, no. Did you do C? No. Okay. Well, what did you do? Well, I just thought I'd give it time. Okay. Well, time might have been point D because I'd say I, we'd see you back in a month, but it really wasn't the, the action points of A, B, and C. So I said you got two options. You can either kind of keep doing this giving it time business or you can try to get better. It's your choice. And the same is true here. Pete and I put this information out for you. But you have to implement the plan for your health and for your wellness. It's that simple. Most people, 99% of people that view our series are willing to do that. But there's always, it's never going to be 100%. And we get that. But the reason why Pete and I take our time to present this series is to enhance your health and your wellness and to empower you and not big pharma or big medicine or big insurance or big government. It's my honor to reintroduce my very, very good friend and your very, very good friend who is one of the top naturopathic physicians in the world. He's a fantastic researcher, as I mentioned, fantastic author. DrGlidden.com, Dr. Peter Glidden. Pete, welcome back to the Operation Freedom Health Platform. It's always a pleasure, Dave. You know, there's an old saying in naturopathic medicine, you can't, you can't poison your way to health. <laughs> <laughs> Very true, right? And it's, I mean, it's, I was talking to uh, a buddy of mine. He's not really a buddy. He's more like a mentor. He's Joe Pizzorno, he's the mm. guy that founded Bastyr University mm -hmm. where I went to school. He's one of the 
reasons that naturopathic medicine rose like a phoenix from the ashes in the uh, 70s and the 80s here in this country. He's written a, a book called The Textbook of Natural Medicine. It's been translated into too many languages. I can't remember. Sold hundreds of thousands of copies. Um, and we were talking just yesterday. And he said, you know, uh, one of the mo more rewarding moments in my life was when a, a medical doctor called me up. He didn't know me from Adam, but he'd read the book, in Encyclopedia of Natural Medicine, mm -hmm. which is basically a textbook for doctors about how to use the stuff that we talk about, right? Mm -hmm. And the, the, the medical doctor said, he said, Dr. Pizzorno, I, I have to thank you because before I read your book, I was ready to retire because I got tired of not curing anything. Hmm. Because all we do in general family practice is medicate and manage and medicate and manage and medicate and manage and people get sicker and weaker over time and then they die and nobody gets healthy, nobody gets cured, nobody ever gets over anything. I'm basically just a pharmaceutical salesman. I hate it. <laughs> and he said, but I read your book. Mm -hmm. And I started doing the stuff that you talked about, and I actually saw my patients heal. And it's a whole new world for me now, and I want to thank you. And this is a very important distinction. It is. Because, you know, there's a lot of different types of dogs. Medicine is like that. Nobody practices medicine. <laughs> no. There's allopathic medicine, chiropractic medicine, naturopathic. There's all these different types of medicine. And they're all good for certain things. Mm -hmm. Naturopathic medicine is really good for building health. Mm -hmm. True. And helping your body to fix itself. Mm -hmm. Which most medical professionals do not believe is possible. That's true. And this is a big problem here. And, you know, my people are destroyed by lack of knowledge. And also, the you know, that... Absolute power corrupts absolutely. We haven't had a free medical market in this country since 1912. That's longer than anybody's been alive. Mm -hmm. So it's one big monopoly, and it's a one-trick pony. And the only reason that they're still in business is because it's a monopoly. Right. If they have horrible results with chronic disease, horrible. You know, good with trauma care and surgery when it's necessary, and military field medicine and childbirth. Mm -hmm. But for the things that people go to the doctor for, most of the time, mm -hmm. they got nothing for it except management, suppression, management, suppression, management, suppression. And there is another way, but it's a secret. Well, it's not really a secret. It's suppressed. That's the right. information has been suppressed. That's right. right? And, 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 that's we, why, and we try to take the lid off of that suppression. And what that's we do why here. this series is so important, because there's nobody else that's doing this. You know, Pete, um, I want to touch on a couple t uh, subjects today that were presented to us by our listening audience. And um, so today we're going to talk about the nutritional approach to restless leg syndrome oh, yeah. and night sweats. Yeah. Educate our listeners, Pete, because this is really important. Really important. Yeah. Restless legs, right? Yeah. I mean, it sounds like a funny thing. But I've experienced it, and it's no, it is no fun. Mm -mm. You get a sense of anxiety in your in your legs, and you just can't sit still. You you got to move them. You got to hit them against the desk. You got to do something just to kind of take the edge off. And it's like, oh my god, it's a bad thing. And ironically, tragically, one of the easiest things to get on the other side of. Mm -hmm. Because like the fellow said, you know, one of my teachers in pathophysiology said, when you hear hoofbeats, you're trying to diagnose something. You hear hoofbeats, you think about horses before you think about zebras. That's right. So you think about the more common things that cause things before you think about weird things that cause things. The most common cause of uh, restless leg syndrome is a calcium and a magnesium deficiency, mm -hmm. period. Mm -hmm. That's it. Mm -hmm. Second most common cause is anemia, hmm. which is also very interesting. Not very many people in the United States are anemic, you know, unless you've got like a bleeding disorder or you're taking a pharmaceutical drug, drug that induces anemia. The vast majority of the restless leg syndrome thing is a simple calcium and magnesium deficiency. And 
I'm going to bet you 25 cents right now, those of you in the listening audience, that if you suffer from restless legs, you also suffer from ticks or twitches in different muscle groups of the body randomly throughout the day. Maybe your eyelid will twitch. Maybe your face muscle will twitch. Maybe your bicep will twitch. Little twittery, twitchy thing just comes and goes like a thief in the night. Or heartburn comes and goes. Constant companion. It's a friend. Oh, my heartburn's back in town. Son of a gun. Um, or high blood pressure. Low back pain. Chronic low back pain or really bad menstrual cramps if you're a woman in her childbearing years, because all of these things are directly, not indirectly, they're directly related to not enough calcium and magnesium. And, you know, if you're deficient in these minerals, especially calcium, man, you're going to have, you're going to be symptomatic in more than just one area of your body. True. Mm -hmm. But what happens, because nobody knows any of this, is people get these little things that happen to them. Mm -hmm. You know? Oh, I've got bad menstrual cramps. Oh, I've got low back pain that comes and go. Oh, I've got heartburn that comes and goes. Oh, I've got restless legs at night in bed. Oh, I'm borderline hypertension. You think it's life. You, you think that it's just par for the course. Well, you know, it's what's going to happen. We get older, we get sicker. No, no, no. That's what happens when you have an undernutrified body. Mm -hmm. That's what happens when you've been consulting medical professionals who don't know how to cure anything. That's what happens. This is not our experience. So these things are driven by nutrient deficiencies and consistent consumption of the wrong food, which makes it hard for your body to absorb what little nutrients there are in the food. So again, we come back to nutrient deficiencies. Mm -hmm. So what do you do? You give your body calcium and magnesium in formulas that your body can actually absorb mm -hmm. <clears throat> and I, I calculated once I was doing a webinar on calcium I calculated the amount of calcium um, over the counter at a health food store <laughs> that you would have to take to get the RDA of calcium into your body mm -hmm. it's like 30 pills a day oh Not and gonna nobody's going to do that no one's going to do that and th this is why I'm such a cheerleader of the osteo FX sold at Operation Freedom Health because it's over 90% absorbable. It is, it's the most effective calcium and magnesium supplement I've ever seen. And, and it, it's like the, you know, the Tesla automobile. It's way out in front of everything else. It's not even in the same ball, league. Well, that's what the Osteo FX is like. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you need calcium and magnesium in this regard. But wait a minute. Whoa, wait just a minute. In order for the body to metabolize those, mm -hmm. well, that's one, two. There are 88 other nutrients that are necessary to be running in the background. I mean, if you take your car to get tuned up, you don't just put air in the tires. Right. I mean, you need air in the tires, but there's a lot of other things you need too, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very true. Uh, it's the same thing here. So, And this is why we get results more frequently than others. Because we understand natural law. And we understand that the body knows how to fix itself. The body wants to fix itself. The body's trying to fix itself. But it needs raw materials to do it. It needs 90, specifically. 60 minerals, 16 vitamins, 12 amino acids, and 2 fatty acids. Maybe tomorrow we'll discover 2 more. Who knows? Right now it's 90. Mm -hmm. 2 of which are calcium and magnesium. So... The secret sauce here is take the 90 essential nutrients, which we refer to as the foundation pack, which is available at Operation Freedom Health, extra calcium and magnesium, which would be one extra bottle of the Beyond Osteo FX. Do that for 21 days in a row. And if your restless legs do not disappear, I will eat my hat. No kidding. It's almost, I can't say it's 100% guaranteed because that would be a lie. Because the only thing that's 100% guaranteed is the IRS will try to rip you off. You got that right. But chances are high that it's going to go away because most of the time your restless legs is a simple nutrient deficiency syndrome. Now let's address night sweats. Wow. This is really interesting. 
as is the whole concept of fever. Hmm. And conventional medical doctors have got it all wrong because fever is your friend. It's fighting. It's a fight. It's, a, you're, it's your body fighting. Yeah, your body your is immune raising system's its kicking internal in. temperature yeah. Yeah. to kill the bug. Right. I mean, you boil water to kill the bugs in the water. Right. Same, same right. principle. It's the same idea. Mm -hmm. Now, it's true that you can have neurological damage if your fever gets too high, but I've been practicing 33 years. I've never seen that happen. It has to be above 105.5 Fahrenheit oral for a couple of hours in order for any neurological damage to even begin to happen. That just doesn't happen. The problem here is just lack of education, lack of information. Mm -hmm. So when you're experiencing a fever, rather than just take the Tylenol, take the Advil, take the aspirin, whatever to bring the fever down, just let it go, baby. Just let it go. If it's your child, cold compress to the head. If the fever starts getting up over 104 degrees, you can put the child in a, in a lukewarm or a cold bath to try to bring it down just a little bit, but that's not even necessary. You can even have a child have febrile convulsions. And, oh, my God, this is neurological damage. Well, no, it's not. Nothing bad is going to happen until it's over 105.5 degrees Fahrenheit for an extended period of time. And, and again, it's rare that that happens. So we let the fever go. We manage the fever with, with water and with cold compresses. There's also some wonderful homeopathic medicines that you can take. There's some wonderful immune support botanical medicines that you can take that are available from the, from the good herbs people. But night sweats is of the same ilk. Hmm. Now, this is, we could go down a lot of different rabbit holes here. So I'm not talking about women who are in their menopausal years who have hot, hot flushes. That's a whole different thing. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. That's a whole different thing. And by the way, we've got stuff for that, too. It's called the Good Herbs Female Hormone Support. Mm -hmm. The Good Herbs Female Hormone Support. And a diet high in cholesterol. Plus the 90 essential nutrients. But if you're getting just night sweats randomly or in, in a pattern, here's why. Your body only has a limited amount of energy that's available to it at any moment in time. And when you're awake, it's using that energy to think and to move and to digest, right? It mm -hmm. needs everything needs to be working. But not when you're sleeping. Right. When you're sleeping, all that settles down. And now the body has all of this excessive energy. What's it gonna do with it? It's gonna repair itself. Mm -hmm. Your body repairs itself when you're sleeping, which is why when you're sick, you sleep. You get tired. Because when you're asleep, your body has all this extra energy that it can use to fight off the germs and to fix itself. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So if during sleep your temperature goes up, your body is fighting something off. Mm -hmm. You have a low-grade infection somewhere in your body. Maybe it's a parasite. Yeah, Everybody's got parasites in their bodies, by the way. Maybe it's a virus. Maybe it's a spike protein. Did I just say that out loud? I, I think I did. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's a bacterial mm -hmm. infection. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. So fevers at night in bed while you're asleep are an indication that there's an infection in your body that your body is trying to fix. Mm -hmm. So you would be prudent then in the morning to take stuff into your body that upregulates your immune system. Mm-hmm. Because your immune system's trying to fix something, fight something. So what do we do? Well, we give the super all of health. We mm -hmm. give the killer biotic um, by longevity. Uh, and a diet high in protein and the 90 essential nutrients. And that's what we do. And also you got to reduce your sugar intake. Because if you do too much sugar, remember, sugar is not the antichrist. Sugar is the the fuel of the body your mm -hmm. your genetics mm -hmm. are made from sugar the problem with sugar is how much are you eating what kind of are you eating and can your body metabolize it doesn't have the raw materials it needs to metabolize it so 
reduce your sugar intake. No more candy bars. No more ice cream when this is happening. Increase your protein consumption because your immune system is made from protein. That's a fun mm -hmm. fact to know and tell that most people are unaware of. Take the 90 essential nutrients, the killer biotic, and the super all of health. And bada bing, bada boom, Bob's your uncle. Um, you're going to upregulate your immune system like nobody's business. Pete, educate our listeners on your website, drglidden.com, and also educate our listeners on your books, Attempt to Cure with Holistic Medicine, and Everybody is Sick and I Know Why. So knowledge is power, mm -hmm. and we need the proper perspective. I mean, any survivalist will tell you, you're lost in the woods. You get kidnapped by the cartel, and you escape in the middle of the night, and you're running through the woods, and dawn breaks, and you need to figure out where you are. you got to climb a high tree. You got to climb to a mountain. You got to figure out where you are. You need perspective. We don't have any perspective on medicine. We don't because we've been underneath the heel of a jackbooted monopoly in medicine for a hundred and more than a hundred years. And that's all that we know is pharmaceutical centric medicine. That's mm -hmm. all that we're taught in school. That's all that we have experience with. That's all that we know. And there's a whole nother world of medical things that are important and necessary and helpful to understand, you don't have any perspective on it. That's why I wrote my two books. To introduce you, to give you a guided tour, so to speak, of the undiscovered country of holistic medicine, which is, you desperately need to know about it. And you need to know about it before you get sick, because once you're sick, it's too late, too late. because you're scared. That's right. And you're just going to do whatever the men in the white coats tell you to. Like, oh, get a jab. Okay. It's nuts what we do. And we do it be mostly because of fear. And the fear is driven by lack of knowledge. Mm -hmm. Very <clears throat> so true. you got to educate yourself. And it's fun. If you're smart enough to pass a driver's license test, you can figure this stuff out. It is not rocket science. It is not difficult to comprehend. The pharmaceutical industry would like you to think that it is, but it is not. And that's why I wrote my books, and that's why the information that I have at drglidden.com, it's all uh, generated towards self-help health recovery. That's good. That's the key. That's that the is key. the key. Yeah, it is the key. Especially over the past two years, two and a half years. People, people that kind of were standoffish on our approach two and a half years ago are no longer after what's occurred over the past two and a half years which is why drglidden.com exists, why your books are, are, should be the foundation of every person's library. They are at, our, at my home. And why we have operationfreedomhealth.com. Now, full disclosure, discussion of the products that Pete and I discussed today are available at operationfreedomhealth.com. Purchase of those products does support this platform. In addition, we have a tremendous amount of free information on operationfreedomhealth.com, including the video Pete did on the 12 bad foods, which everybody at a minimum should be doing, of, of avoiding, if you will. Watch that video. It's free. It's on the top of OperationFreedomHealth.com. The products we discussed are on OperationFreedomHealth.com. Pete's books and, and a tremendous amount of information is available at DrGlidden.com. Pete, I'd like to thank you for joining me today. Thank you for everything you have done, are doing, and will do. And I'd like to thank you folks for joining us. Until next time, Dave Janda signing off. Dream big and dare to fail. Thanks for joining us today. <laughs>